This is the FDNY Ambulance. And this is the LAFD Ambulance. And right over here, this is the Flushing Hospital Ambulance. And these are all used by uh, EMS services. Uh, these two here, they're from New York City. I just decided to also to uh, bring in the Flushing one since that's why I see a lot around my uh, neighborhood. But we also have uh, Los Angeles in the house, the LAFD Ambulance. So it's a bit of a different design. So I just picked uh, LA and New York City. That's like the two main fire departments I really want to do. Um, but yeah, today in this tutorial, we're going to be building these two um, in Minecraft. And the FDNY is actually an update design of the older one that I have on my original channel, Crafty Fox. A long time ago, we're using that iron trap door for the door, so that's not as great. And here, if I turn on night vision, this is what it looks like if you see it all bright and shiny, you know. Look at the difference between the two. We have the blacked out windows versus the glass windows. Uh, just definitely, it looks a lot more accurate uh, to the original real life prototype. You can see the emblem right over there, stripes, detail. And uh, yeah, let's get start on the build. So uh, first off, we're gonna make a basis uh, for both the LA FD and the FDNY one, because there are some similar blocks to this. All right, so let's grab the materials. We'll take out a polished andesite slab. Polish blackstone brick slab, another brick stairs, and then a black wall. And I think that's all we can fit right now. So, so first off, we're gonna make the front corners. We'll take out polish inside slab, one there. Skip two blocks, another one, so that they're floating. Then behind it, we'll add in another brick stairs upside down, facing inwards like this for the wheels, because the wheels in the front they are thinner because the wheels in the back, I think they have double wheels or something like that. It's really common. Um, so next up, we'll take out polished andesite slab and then we're gonna add in two blocks after these stairs. And then we'll add in polished blackstone brick slab, just one on the right side. Two blocks wide here, two blocks, two blocks like that. And then we'll add in, well, black wool. We'll skip three blocks, so one, two, three. Add a black wool, other side, same thing. That's going to be our back wheel, and we'll add in a polished blackstone brick slab behind it uh, for uh, both sides like this. Next, we'll take out a black concrete, a daylight detector, a nether brick stairs, as well as a wither skeleton skull. We're going to make this windshield. Um, so that's going to be right around here. So I guess uh, floating above the chassis, we'll add in the windshield. Three, actually four blocks wide, a nether brick stairs. Like that. And then in the inside, we'll add two blocks wide, a black concrete, and four blocks wide of daylight detectors. Then inside here, we're going to add a block temporarily just to add in the side view mirrors using a wither skeleton skull. Other side will do the same exact thing. All right, so it's looking like this. It's very incomplete, but you know, it's just the framework. But yeah, this is the part in the tutorial where we're gonna split off. We're gonna build one for FDNY and then later the LAFD. All right, so for the FDNY version of it, we'll add in an oak slab here for the license plate. Then the back here, we'll add in two blocks long polished blackstone brick slab in the front of the back wheel. Add another one to the back of the slab. Then I'm gonna add red concrete in the corners here. And then acacia slab, just two blocks wide here. Then we'll add in polished andesite slab, just two blocks wide down here. And then red concrete, two blocks wide here. Then we'll go in the front here, add two blocks wide red concrete. And then we'll extend this so it goes all the way to the back. All right, next up, we'll add in upside down polished blackstone brick stairs right above this first wheel. And then acacia slab here. And then skip a block of acacia slabs all the way across to the back. Other side will do the same exact thing. All right, next up, we'll add in a polished andesite slab in this gap here. Like that, both sides. And then a black concrete underneath this daylight detector on both sides. Then we'll add in two blocks wide stone brick stairs for the grill. And diorite wall in the corners. And then a snow layer, two layers tall, two blocks wide here in the middle. And then another two layers, but they're only one layer tall like that. And then red carpet on sides, and then white carpet in the very corner. 
Next up, we'll add in a birch button, and that's going to be on the sides of all of our wheels. And after that, we'll add in a dark prismarine slab, and that's going to be in this gap here, right underneath that window. And then over here, two blocks wide, black concrete. And we'll add in a smooth port stairs. So They're going to be upside down, facing towards the front, both sides. And then we'll add in um, a diorite slab that's going to be hovering above this two blocks wide. This is actually for the siren. It's quite noisy, to be honest. And then we're going to add in two blocks wide white carpet like that. I know European sirens, they have a different tone. It's less harsh. Then we're going to add in smooth quartz block, just two blocks tall here. Skip a block, make an L shape. Actually, make an N shape like that. And then over here, we'll add in smooth quartz slab, top to bottom, and then right over here at the bottom. And then we'll add in three blocks wide at the top. Now the other side, we'll add in um, this end shape of smooth quartz. Two by two in the back, smooth quartz. And then smooth quartz slab here. I don't know if that's why it's too bright, so I'm going to turn off the night vision. Just add in one slab here, skip a block, add in two blocks wide. And then we'll add in acacia slab inside here. And then the other side, we'll fill this part in, black concrete for the window. Actually, it's going to be a door window there. And then we're going to add in lapis azuli right behind this slab here and this slab for the emblem. Then in the back, we'll add in two blocks wide black glass, two blocks wide stone buttons on top, two blocks wide smooth quartz, and then acacia buttons right there. All right, and then on the side here, let's add in acacia buttons either side of this. The redstone torches here in the corners, the front corners on both sides. And we'll add in stone button here, two blocks wide here, dark oak button, acacia buttons either side of this. Let's go back onto this side. Uh, we'll add in stone button here, skip a block, and then make an L shape here, dark oak button there. And then right on top, we'll add in a brick slab here. Another brick slab on the other side, a red nether brick um, slabs in the corners, two blocks wide smooth stone slab, and then we'll add in the middle part. Uh, there's going to be two blocks wide warped slab, two blocks wide smooth quartz slab, two blocks wide acacia slab, and then smooth quartz slab like that filled in. And we can also fill this bottom part in. So it's a solid block, move quartz. All right, so next in the front, we'll add in two blocks wide of dark oak signs like that. And then we'll go to the loom, add in a white banner with red dye, and we're gonna make a diagonal going one way and then a diagonal going the other way. And we want to uh, make it so they angle like this. Two banners here and then two banners here on the other side. I'm going to add in acacia trapdoor here, and then iron trapdoors across the rest, and then light gray carpet all the way across, uh, just like that. And yeah, that's actually pretty much it on how to make the FDNY ambulance in Minecraft. You can add this to your cities and fire departments. And now, if you do want to make the LAFD one, let's get started on that. So let me clear it up. Uh, we're going to take some materials. Uh, polished black stone brick block, red concrete, uh, smooth quartz slab, as well as iron trapdoor, acacia trapdoor, um, and then polished black stone brick slab, and a dark oak fence gate. So first off, let's go right over here, add in two blocks wide, polished black stone uh, bricks like that, and then another two blocks wide here in the middle. Then the corners, we'll add in a red concrete, just like that. And then we'll go to the side here, add in iron trap door, acacia trap door, iron trap door. And then in the back, it's going to be acacia trap door, iron trap door. The four blocks wide, uh, iron trap doors, and we're going to do the same trap door designs onto the other side. After we've done that, let's add in... Um, dark oak fence gate right there adjacent to this iron trap door and then we'll add in polished blackstone brick slabs across the inside of this 
All right, and then we'll add in a uh, black concrete. It's going to be uh, two blocks wide in between these wheels. And then on this side, there's actually going to be a polish in a site block right there. Then in the back, we'll add in two blocks wide, uh, red concrete like that. And then I guess we fill in the rest of the middle part, two blocks wide red concrete, all the way to the very front. Next up, let's add in a uh, smooth quartz slab. And that's going to be a stripe, pretty much goes all the way across the side of this like that. Other side will do the same thing. And then we'll add in an acacia trapdoor right underneath this uh, daylight detector on the side, just to add it into the frame. Then we can add in um, a red concrete, and we're going to make it um, 2 by 2 here, skip a block 2 by 3. And then the other side, we're just going to make it two blocks tall all the way across. And now let's add in um, acacia slab, and that's going to be uh, four blocks wide here in the front, four blocks wide here. And we're going to make a border around it all the way around. We'll also add in acacia slab at the top and the bottom of this, and black concrete in the inside of that. All right, next up, let's add in um, red concrete, a two by two inside here. And then on the roof, there's gonna be smooth quartz slab all the way across, just like that. And then we'll add in two blocks wide red concrete right there. And then we'll punch in a hole here, add in a smooth quartz slab right there. All right, next we'll make a sort of like a four block wide red carpets like that, and two blocks wide here. And then acacia button here, stone button, and then a smooth quartz slab inside that little nook like that. All right, next we'll make the headlights. They're just item frames with a white bed, and they're going to be angled towards inside like that. And then in the back, let's add in a birch button here, and then birch signs next to that all the way across the sides like that. Then over here, we'll add in redstone torch. Other side, same thing. And then we'll add in uh, dark oak buttons on the sides in the front. Then we'll add in a birch button. And this is going to be uh, three blocks long here. The other side, we'll add one here. Then two blocks long here. And then a redstone torch right over here in the front. And then we'll add in a stone button. It's going to be on the side of the wheels for all of them. And they're also going to be uh, one right here, another one, another two actually here. And then on this side, there's going to be one here, and another one right there. All right, and then we'll go to the back, and we'll add in two back-to-back -back birch stairs. And then two upside-down facing each other birch stairs like that. Now we'll have to make some banners, so go to the loom here. First banner, we'll add red banner. And uh, yellow dye will make a uh, diagonal going one way, diagonal going the other way. And then for our next banner, we'll add in uh, black dye, I mean black banner with red dye. And that's going to be a board around it. Put it back inside. And then we'll add it across the bottom third of it. Alright, so for our uh, last banner, we'll add in a white banner with red dye. And we are going to make it a border around it. And then we'll put it back inside. And then one's going to be at the top third. Put it back inside. And then another one's going to be on the bottom third. Put it back inside. And another one's going to be a left-hand column. So yeah, that should be all our banners. So add in the diagonals first. It's going to be like that. Another one right here. And then for this pattern, there's actually one more step because there's actually a white square if you look on this. So we need to add that. It's really easy. Just take this banner, add in white dye, and go across the top corner of that. And we just put that back in. That, that looks a lot better than nothing being there, you know? And then on this side, we'll add in the one with the red sort of rectangle there. And then we'll add in these door banners here for. Uh, the middle because they are ambulance doors in the back like that 
All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the LAFD ambulance. And that's it for the whole tutorial. If you guys do want to make the Flushing Hospital ambulance for whatever reason, here's what it looks like. Let me turn on night vision. Um, yeah, it's uh, really pretty, but I don't. I really doubt there's anyone here from Flushing or even Queens is actually watching these tutorials. Maybe just a couple of people. But yeah, that's just like a bonus ambulance. Um, but yeah, if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our Discord, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.